So they have a Nutella machine here with a pump. <gasps> oh! Reindeers are better than people. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Disneyland Park. Welcome to new Disneyland Paris vlog. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Nick is just getting ready. We are going to head down to the breakfast um, restaurant at the hotel this morning. We didn't do it yesterday, but I uh, thought we might do it this morning because we're not rushing quite as much. It's our last full day, and we're just going to do all the things that we haven't done today so far. So a few shows, a few um, more rides, a couple of rides that we want to do again. I think everybody wants to do Phantom Manor again. Uh, the train, um, the ship. Uh, around Disneyland and nice. things like that. So we're just going to eat light this morning and then we're going to have some of our favourite snacks again in the parks. Where's your Disney this morning? Oh, I can't be bothered now. Where's your Disney? I've run out. Well, I'll get my little uh, Disney Mickey mouse on my bag. You can have to everybody how nice this corridor is because you've done it for a lot more days. Beautiful, beautiful corridor in this hotel. The Dream Castle Hotel we're in. And this beautiful lobby. Can you imagine it's like in here at Christmas? Oh god, yeah, but it's well nice. Even it's raining today. I need to pack those ponchos, although Neil did say that it would stop raining by 9 o'clock. Right, so they have a Nutella machine here with a pump. You put a brioche on it or whatever. Thank you. And you just pump your Nutella into it. For a lovely, healthy, nutritious breakfast full of almonds and chocolate. It's, it's not quite pumping it. You ready? Yeah. Oh my god, look at that. Right, apparently now everybody's cottoned onto this and they're all doing it. So Tracy's gonna have a go. Right, follow me, Tracy. We're kind of hoping that it's gonna explode all over Tracy. <laughs> just to top off the three things that she's done this trip. Right, so stick the spike inside the brioche. Just anywhere. Yeah, right, yeah, anywhere. Right to the middle. And then pump it about 15 times. Shall I do it? Yeah. <gasps> oh! <laughs> it's full! I think they filled the machine up, that's why it won't work in. Um, let me get you the plate. <laughs> you got it all off? No, not quite. It's all really st stuck all between these things. Yeah. <laughs> well, Faith's loving it anyway. Is it a better one this time? Yes. It's dripping on your hands and on your top. Oh, oh. oh. So, when I was pumping it, I actually did it 15 times, then they filled the machine up. Everybody's got two squirts and it's, it's exploded the um, brioche. Oh my god, that looks so nice. Go and get me another one, Lee. Yeah. Go on. I'm thinking mine. Right, we're on our way down to catch the bus. Oh, apparently you can have pizza in the Dream Castle. So what? we've got a Dream Castle pizza box that I delivered to the room. How? The do do pizza. We, thought they we need to pizza. investigate that, if that's the case, because we've been struggling for pizzas this week. We've been ordering off Uber Eats, trying to anyway. Um, still haven't got my money back for that and still haven't got a pizza. So we'll have to inquire at the reception actually how we get the pizzas. So yeah, we're off down to get the bus. Um, they're about every 20 minutes, something like that, and they take you straight to the bus station in the centre um, of Disney Village. So hopefully the others are waiting for us outside. Good morning. Here's a random Disney wife vlogging around the... We just missed a bus. Yes. Oh, for goodness sake. We'll have to walk. I don't mind the You're walk. You're not waiting on me and Vicky for once. I think it's a nice walk, don't you? Tracy's feet yet. Guess what we've just seen? Go on. A Dream Castle pizza box outside Sunday's room. So Nick's off to see where we get pizza from. Ooh. So you can get pizza. It's just room service only though, so it's to the room. So that's good to know. Here we go. Looks quite full. Here we are in a white Walt Disney Studios. We're gonna head in and do a show. Right, we're gonna queue for the Frozen ride. That uh, show, should I say, the Frozen show. So this is a new one for us, the Disney Frozen, a musical invitation. We've never done this one. I was wondering if this was gonna be like the uh, winning Halloween Studios, but it's uh, nothing like it. It looks different so far. It's almost like the ride, isn't it? Yeah. No carrots. But Christoph, you promised! <laughs> I know, buddy. 
But let's say Oaken is not the easiest one when it comes to um, negotiating. Such <laughs> a classic, right? Reindeers are better than people. Hey, set up! On jette! Ah, droite, c'est ça! Ce serait dommage. Ah, ah, vous avez entendu? Did you see something? What? Why are smiling? Dear people of Arendelle, welcome. We got a surprise for you. It's so good to see you. L'hiver s'installe doucement dans la nuit. La neige est reine à son tour. So straight outside the Frozen show is the drawing class like they have in Animal Kingdom. So you... The one we did at Man um, Animal Kingdom. Same, oh no, it's not, it was the evil one we did, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Animation Academy. Animation Academy. Yeah. Come on, Bullseye! Let's ride like the wind! Oh, oh, that's weird. So that was really good in there. So you'd span around really fast and you thought it was going to like turn into an animation. And then they had the flickering lights, which kind of made it go dark and light and dark and night, which create, it created the look, the illusion of animation. I tried filming it on my phone, but it was my phone's filming at 30 frames a second and the light was flickering at 24, so you got the odd flicker. Hopefully the camera picked it up, but that was really good, that. So what did you think to the show? I thought it was really good, actually. The, the shows here in Paris are very high quality production. They're always really yeah. good singers. It was a mix of French and English. Apart I thought, from the songs, the songs were all purely French. Yeah, I thought they did really well. I did expect some of the songs to be both but it was all French. But yeah, the talking scenes were, they mixed. did it in a way that you could follow the story. Yeah. So one person talked French and then the other person repeated it in English as if it was like correct, like confirming what the other person yeah. had said. But the songs themselves were all in French, yeah. which kind of was a little bit disappointing. Unless you're French. Unless you're French. Because um, you couldn't it, sing along to them. Not no. that I would have done. Je la boo, la la la. I yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you can go scream over there into those monitors and see how loud you can get and see what points you can get by screaming. Imagine Nick would be very good at that. Right, Nick wants to go. Go on, Nick. Into this. <laughs> Vicky definitely won that one. Face <laughs> to Yoko. You definitely won. You're going to have a go, face. I'm going to my life, but I don't think I'm doing this. It's hurting me, though. It only goes up so far, that one, definitely. <laughs> so we just come to have a look at the uh, Super Diner. Oh, which it looks like it's open. Oh, yeah. Because somebody's told us to get a shawarma uh, snack here, which is very good. Yeah, there's people in it. So uh, we're not super hungry at the moment, but we're going to have a quick look at this. Let's have a look at the menu. Oh yeah, it's there. Oh, pita bread, um, poultry veal, um, oh, so it's not even um, chicken. I'm not gonna lie, I could eat it now. Uh, I could try it. Um, lettuce, red onions, tomatoes, coriander and hummus, oh my god. Yeah, I'd like to go in there actually. I'm not, I'm not on the, uh, I'm not sold on the fact that it's veal. Treat yourself, Nick. Treat yourself. Nah, we've got enough mugs. We are going to go in the shawarma in a bit. Um, the guys have in just the gone on, in the shawarma diner. The guys, Super diner. yeah, to get the shawarma. The guys have just gone on flight force again. Give me uh, a headache, so I don't want to go on yeah, it. Yeah, we're just going to have a look around the uh, merch store. I wonder if they're Chris Pratt's. They're very French. They're very short. What is it? Is it oh, it's one of the uh, things that you put on your arm. Is it yeah, for the web this? slinger? It's showing you there, isn't it? Wait a minute. It's a uh, a web slinger shooter thing, maybe. Yeah, but what's this? For? Is this for the ride or? No, it's just to take home, and play with. I wonder if you can use it on the ride. Oh That's, yeah, I wonder maybe. Yeah. Actually, that goes on your wrist. Amplifier. Like, you have, it lights up, and you go. You do that, and watch this. You're on the ride. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah it you does. can use it on the ride. 
That's very ingenious, isn't it? Yeah. 30 euros for that. When equipped on the web slinger vehicle, mystic bands activate to end, uh, to end snare targets. So yeah, it's for the ride. That's their version of a lab. It's I, very I, I good ma it. marketing in that. It's very good. So all these, the, the, I don't know what um, um, superhero that's from, but there's the Iron Man one, there's a web slinger, uh, I presume that's Captain Marvel. There's all the all the different ones, and they're all made for use on the um, on the Web Slingers ride. Makes me want to buy one and try it just to, uh, just out of curiosity. After five minute ride, it's all. I know. Well, oh, that's how you wear it, kind of thing on your wrist. The Iron Man one. That looks like it fires like soft balls. But on the back, it just says on the Web Slingers ride, it does activate to um, help you win better. There we go. That explains it a little bit better. Web power band, repulsor. Um, web shooter, mystic amplifier, and it shows you how each one works and you can use it on the ride. I presume you can use it off the ride as well, otherwise it would be a bit of a waste when you got home and you never use it again, would you? Yeah. So if you hold on to the, the straps and push your head back, you don't rock as much either. There you go, they just hold your head still like that. Oh, yeah, I've got a bit of a headache from that. Right, we're back at the Super Diner. Hopefully we can get a table and uh, we're going to get some of these shawamas. Right, we're in the diner. What do you want? We are uh, sat around the uh, bar. Uh, let's have a look at this. There's a, oh, you can get a, a children's shawarma as well. It's got, instead of a hummus, it's got um, like laughing, cow. laughing cow sauce in, yeah. No thanks. Vegan cookies. What's that? Le Choco Blast. Mm. I might get that infant one, you know, just to try. Because oh. Nick, Nick's going to go for the shawarma. I'm gonna uh, sorry, the vegan I'm one. I'm going to get the plant-based one because I don't like the sound of vegan. And are you sharing that with Tracy? Like that, so we'll just share that. And I'll get a cafe au lait and the um, kids meal. Right, here is my uh, shawarma. I couldn't get the kids meal, they wouldn't allow it. Bloody hell. Um, so I went for the full one and it's so good. Veal, actually. Wow, looking forward to this. Neil, do you want some? Right, we're going to do a comparison. We're going to compare the veal against the vegan. The veal is absolutely beautiful. And these guys didn't like their hummus, so we're having it. It almost looks like ice cream, doesn't mm. it? This is really, really good. Good well, values, rather massive. I'm not surprised you don't like it. It's a very, very bland hummus. You need a flavoured one. Right, Nick's coming back with the vegan one. He's sharing it with Tracy. Come on, I'm going to try the meat, the vegan meat. I'm going to swap it. Tastes like those slips that we built in the van with, you know, the packing slips. The vegan one's much better. I mean, sorry, oh, the, the veal one is much better. It is. Yeah. It's actually got no flavour. You put some this one on. It reminds me that the same shape as the packing slips Let me show you. that we packed out the van with. <laughs> like the grey ones. I'm sure they'd be more tastier. That is not... I wouldn't even say that that's like edible. You should have gone for the main one. I should have gone for the Eight or nine out of ten, I thought it was lovely. Yeah, I agree. Yours, yours was nice. The one. Mine was probably two or three out of ten. And we got, we usually like like vegetarian and vegan. It had no flavour. It, it tasted like a hedge. It was like eating a bush. It was just no flavour, no shawarma, no no shawarma tasting on it, wasn't it? No. But the veal one, I wouldn't get that. Definitely not. And I feel sorry for all vegans out there. I really enjoyed that. It's at the very end of Avengers Land. Almost, well, as far as you can go, and then it's blocked off by a, a wall. Um, I would definitely recommend that. to another food place because Emma wants to try the spaghetti bolognese in Stark Factory and I think Vicky's getting a dessert in here. She's going for the bolognese one. Yeah, Emma's going for that but Vicky wants a dessert. Oh, look at that, thunder oh cake. Oh my god, milk chocolate caramel cake. Mm. This is where Hulk Buster is. So the spag bog and pizzas in here, that looks like a nice one, like flatbread pizza and then some desserts. Emma's got the spag bog. 
Right, as we're just walking past it, web slingers is only 30 minutes. Uh, so we're just going to do that and a couple of them are going to do single riders as well. So that's only about 10 minutes or 15 minutes for single riders. So it's definitely worth doing single riders. If you don't mind going on your own, you just get on rides so much faster. You wish you could just use some of those things from the shop just once, just to try it. Well, yeah, but then I'd have to return it because they were rubbish. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they are rubbish, to be honest. They're just a gimme cat the bag. they are. All right, for a go. Thanks for funding from Tony Stark, the brilliant young mind here for creating cutting-edge tech. Ready to do this. Um, Vicky and Emma have been split up in single round. Um, Emma came into the room with us. She's gone down another corridor. Vicky's not even come through yet, so I don't even know how long it's going to take her. We found her. Oh, we're vlogging the vlog. It sounds like she's pointing at Vicky. It sounds like Vicky's coming. Oh, she's there. She's here. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Bloody hell. Right, the camera. Almost on. Are you giddy? Very. Oh, you look very impressed. We're on. We're on. We're on. Oh, we're going. <laughs> Yeah, I can only describe Tracy's attempts as like needing bread. Although she got 199,000 times. Really? Got... She bet me that yeah, I got she 195. Did. I got 99 because I've got the camera in my hand and I could only do it one handed. But um, that was another good one. Right, that's just time going in Walt Disney Studios now. We're going into uh, Disneyland Park. Do a few things that we haven't done before the train, the boat, hopefully. We're in but two minds about the drones. I'm doing the drones, definitely. 100% I want to watch yeah, them. Yeah. Wait, give it another few hours of walking around, you might change your mind. I want to go to, we all want to go to Victoria's as well to see what uh, cupcakes they've got on at this time of the year. Sick of eating. They've put something new up here. Not with yet. Tinkerbell, I don't know what that's for. We were just saying the other day, wasn't it? This is the first time we've been with nothing, uh, nothing there, but I uh, don't know what, what that's for. Something to do with fairies by the looks of it. So I think they've got some new things in the park as well. It's all for the Symphony of Colour, which... Start until um, 10th of Feb though. Yeah, it doesn't start until after we're here, but uh, they've got some new things up for it. Right, the riverboat's running, the Molly Brown, so we're going to go on there. We've not done that this trip. In fact, I don't think we've ever done that in Disneyland Paris, yeah. so we're all going to go on that now. The best house in Paris, the uh, haunted uh, Phantom Manor. And you can see they're doing uh, work refurbishment on uh, Thunder Mountain, which is why it's closed at the moment. Somebody hanging underneath Thunder Mountain uh, track there, working on it. Done a full circle. I think this lake is probably bigger than the one that goes around um, Tom Sawyer Island. It's hard to tell, but it has been a nice, relaxing 20 minute ride. I do wish this room here was open. The one upstairs is open, according to Neil, but none of us can be bothered walking upstairs. We've walked around parks far too long for a few days as legs are killing us. Right, we think we're going to do Phantom. I don't know what the wait time is. Looking at that queue, I would say 10 15 minutes. if you've been on Haunted Mansion and Phantom Manor, which is your preferred one. Mine is definitely Phantom Manor here. Mine's Haunted Mansion. I like the music in um, Haunted Mansion, um, but Phantom Manor, they don't have a particular theme that does that plays all the way through like in Florida. I just love the Phantom laughing all the way around here. That's good. Our tour begins here in this gallery. 
So Tracy's convinced, well, the, in fact, Tracy and Vicky and Emma are convinced that we're in a lift and we're actually going down here. I may be actually wrong and we might be, but I really don't think so. So I've just looked on Wikipedia, and it does say that Quantum Manor and California use actual elevators. Oh, I never. I'm still not convinced. I think it's like on Harry Potter where the floor wobbles. I'm not sure. Let's, everybody comment below whether you know for sure. Imagine if this was a proper hotel and this would be the reception area. They should retheme the uh, Star Wars one that they're not using in Florida and make it into a... As we do every time we get on this ride. Oh, uh, nice oh, to sit down. God. It's nice to sit down. to us on our YouTube comments um, to dine at here. The only problem with dining when you're inside Disneyland Park is the last reservation of the day is usually about 4.45. Um, so you've got to be hungry. But here's the prices and um, the choices. It looks pretty decent actually. Oh, so it's a full sit down. It's a full sit down meal. Three carters or something. But again, prices are quite reasonable. 35 without a dessert or uh, all three courses for 45. It's pretty decent, but like I said, the downside is that you've got to dine early because the, the, for some reason they just stop doing the, re the reservations any later than five o'clock. Just as we're passing the Lucky Nugget, you can have a look at the menu. Quite a few different things here. So you can get the barbecue, um, ribs and things, fish the and chips. The prices are a lot higher though. Yeah, they are actually quite high. But you do get like salad Burger. and, and um, salad cup and, and a drink with that as well. I've got to say the fish and chips in this Disneyland Paris Park are very good. Well, the ones at Toad Hall are. Yeah, Toad, if they're anything like that. Whatever it is. Right, we're heading to Victoria's because these guys want to try um, something from here, a cake or something. Look, look at the menu on the table. Oh, like yes. Well, let's have a look here. Waffles. It doesn't tell you what the cake selection is. No, let's have a look around this side. Oh, that's just drinks. Well, let's go in and have a we'll look. Have find out. Right, we're giving this a miss because at the moment all the room is on is waffles and people want sort of cakes and things. There is some kind of thing as well, which is like this big thing. What is it? It's like a pastry. 15 euros. Yeah, that's There's all that done. Waffles, really. that's all that they're doing there. I'm going to have a cheesecake and a coffee. I want Coke, just a Diet Coke. What's this? It's a New York style cheesecake. No, it's not. It's another quiche. Can I help myself? It's <laughs> and I'm so going to have nice. this Kiri cheesecake. So it's quiche, a cheese, um, cheese and cheese Kiri quiche. Cheese. I don't know what Kiri yeah, is. That's Kiri. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is. I think oh. it's, maybe it's the cheese, the same cheese that that's made of. I don't know. Mm, maybe. So it's the Golden Gate cheesecake I'm having. And uh, I, w I was tempted with the cable car carrot cake, but I do fancy a cheesecake. Uh, no, the, reason, the only reason I'm having this is because I'm trying to determine whether it is actually now the best snack. Just for scientific it. purposes. Yeah, I'm doing a proper taste test, like without the influence of a crop mature. Right, the Kiri. This is new. Che Golden Gate cheesecake. I'll be interested to see whether it's the same cheese that's in my cake. Is it like a cheesy cheese? Like the cheese that's in that? It's the creamiest cheesecake I've ever had. Let me try it. I reckon it's the same cheese that's, that the um, quiche is made from. Oh my it's god. It's a Kiri cheesecake, doesn't it? That is amazing cheesecake. It's the same cheese. It's amazing, isn't it? Very good. Oh my god, you can almost taste that. Yeah. Mmm. Beautiful. Quite a heavy cheese. Are you hungry? Yes. After your breakfast, your... Um, I, I, there's that much, I've forgotten. I can't even remember what you've eaten. That you're hungry. I'm not hungry. I'm going to take most of this home. So, I need a selection. Okay, what are you having now though? I don't know. This which which four are you having now? This one. Right. Maybe one of them.
We've just been waiting for an hour for these guys to go and have space them out and it's broke down and shut shut the ride just as they were about to get on. It broke down, they were the next walking yeah. on onto the carriage. They actually saw the carriage and then they shut it. So we're off to Star Wars shop. Neil's buying himself a Star Wars lounge fly. 70% off. I'm quite tempted myself. I thought you didn't do a lounge fly. So. I know, but it's tw about 25 quid. And, you know, when we go back to Star Wars Florida, we'll see. This is the one. And it's minus 70 uh, percent, which makes it 22 euros. That's nuts, and it's Star Wars. It's about 18 quid or something. I'm gonna get one. So, Lee's got his first ever lounge fly. 19 pounds, I'm gonna put a bottle of water in it for What now. character is it? A soccer. I thought you said Mustafa. Mustafa. Oh no, that's in bikes that Tracy wants. That's in cheese bites. First ever lounge fly. Oh, it's comfy. Is yeah. it? Turn around. Oh, look at that. That's mint. I just wish I got it two days ago. Yeah. Really suits you, Lee. 19 pounds. 19 quid. Bargain. Bargain. Now he's buying a keyring to go with the bag. I quite like the the keyring. The keyring is going to cost more than the bag at this rate. Uh, it does yeah, match. No, I like that. What's this? This bangle. These like beads up front. What's this? Oh, she must wear them. That's perfect. Isn't yeah. it that? Yeah. How much perfect. is that? Colour and everything. No matter how much you it is, need to get it. It, does. Likes it matches it. very much how much it, it is. Remember, remember what every day is best. I'm on first name terms with this with this cashier. Every day is best. Right, we're heading down Disney Village, heading to the Sequoia Lodge, where we're all going to have a little chill and uh, a coffee or a drink, whatever. Did you say we're having a little snooze? Chill. Yeah, if you want a oh. snooze, I know you like to have a snooze in the Sequoia Lodge. Right, on his way to Sequoia, we're calling it McDonald's. Me and Nick's never been in here. Apparently they have different kind of things, and there's a Nutella burger, apparently, which uh, if they do have, Neil says he's going to try. I'm struggling to understand how you can have a Nutella burger, unless it's like a bar of chocolate with Nutella on. Let's see. Or whether it's just Nutella spread on bread, I don't know. Let's see. There it is. McChocanuts. Which it just looks like... Well, I don't know. How is it, how's it going to hold itself together? I guess we'll find out. Neil's going to get it. Oh my god, this is so not McDonald's. Look at that. Is that it? Yeah, that's what we're getting. But the biscuit on? No, it'll be melted. All right, okay. And then... Some pancakes, macrons, oh my god. Cinnamon donuts. Apple pie. I'm not hungry though. Macarons. Stripey donuts, cookies. So this is the chocolate So they melt that coin disc and then put the nuts and the um, cheesecake, the bits on it, and it looks like that. How very strange. So it's a, is it a biscuit base or is it bread? It looks like bread, doesn't it? Neil and Emma and Vicky have got the um, Nutella burger. It's like two twenty, something like that. Absolutely nothing. Oh my god! <laughs> I could actually eat that. So the nuts actually give it its, it's, its, its thickness and its... Does it taste like a Ferrero Rocher? Yeah, give that one. Like a warm Ferrero Rocher? Amazing. You must get this. I got chocolate donut. Mm. Good. Mm. Try it. I'm trying to It's got like little multis of it in it. Oh. The chocolate, the melted chocolate. Oh, no, no, What's it like? Like chocolate oh, spread? I can imagine it's like chocolate spread with Neil nuts. Looks, Neil's looks more no, I thought it was more. Neil's looks thicker. I thought it was more runny Neil's. But right, it, it seems to hold its substance it's more. Neil's it's got like a melted. thicker. Yeah, maybe they've put more nuts in right. his. Yeah. Mmm. It's good though. Nice. Like it. Right. Oh, I couldn't eat another thing for an hour. It's all about the food this now vlog. I'm trying pancakes. Which is like two American pancakes with. Is it chocolate sauce and Maltesers in it? Not as good as the Nutella burger. Is it like Nutella though? Mm. Or is it like a cheap chocolate? It's more cheaper chocolate. That's not as good as the. Can you remember years ago, McDonald's used to do a donut which used to have chocolate on the top? A ring donut? No, it won't, it won't like that. It would like, and it come in a plastic box and it always used to have condensation on it and it used to be really chocolatey. Yeah, I know what I mean. Have you got a new bag? £129 on eBay. selling for on eBay. And we just bought it for 19 quid. I'm tempted to go back and get five. If we could get that home, I probably would have done. Just wear it as a rucksack. Captain Marvel here. I liked the first film. I have seen the Marvels and I thought that was rubbish. But uh, I like the character. 
here we are at Sequoia Lodge, a really nice hotel just to come and uh, chill in the lounge areas. This is my favourite, it has a, built, it has a uh, boulder, boulder creek. Yeah, boulder like creek a wilderness or? lodge, boulder wilderness ridge? lodge boulder feel ridge. kind of, yeah. The boulder ridge feel. Yeah. Nick was just dying to try the lounge fly. Oh yeah. Suits you? Enthusiasm on my face. It suits you. I added that myself, the BB-8 um, keyring. So just inside you've got Hunter's Grill, which is a buffet. Uh, 45 euros for adults and 25 euros for children. And this is the uh, sort of lobby area where you first come in. And there's Beaver Creek there, which is another uh, place to eat. I'm gonna get the lift up for Faith. What's this? Uh, we've been spending again. My, um, my discount, my um, annual pass has been maxed out this, this, this trip. These guys have bought more merch than Disney have actually got. It is cute though, isn't it? No. It is cute actually. It's a white, it's a white Pluto. Oh yeah, like it's, it's like a, it's like it's like Pluto's been at it away with some other dog, and yeah, this is yeah. like the the um, the result, is the offspring. Nice yeah. Oh, it's amazing. We're doing twenty-two euros. Twenty-two euros. Pounds. That is more expensive than Lee's lounge fly bag. So, the plan is. We're going to go and watch the drone show, and then in the meantime, these guys going to go to the sports bar. Going to get a table at the sports bar, and, and then, then when the drone show starts, we'll the go. Drone, the drone show. We'll go from the sports bar and go watch the drone show. Yes, I absolutely adore this hotel. It's just so. I've been trying to come up with a word for it, like hunters, um, um, cowboy. I don't know. I can't really come up with a name for it, but it's just got that nice. Alpine forest feel where it's like bears and pine wood forests and things like that. Those two guys are vlogging over there. And um, this is one of the restaurants we've never ever tried. I still can't come up with a word for the, the kind of theme that this hotel is. Grand Canyon. -y. No, that's not a theme. Like hunter. Like hunting. Yeah, like cowboys, I don't know. A bit like North North Carolina -y type. Do you know what I mean? Like like Alpine foresty hunting, Alaskan yeah, forest, Rocky there. Mountain, yeah. that kind of thing. I'm sure you know what I mean. Right, we're heading over to the sports bar. But that looks really nice. Okay, we had a bad experience at Rosalie, but it does make um, Disney Village look nice from here. Rosalie sign. I uh, hope it improves for people that. So we're going over, going to get a place at the sports bar, hopefully, and then uh, some of us are going to head over and see the drone show. And there's the Marvel Hotel all lit up. And you can also see the Tower of Terror just there. And there's Newport Bay all lit up. This is probably the first time we've been to Disneyland Paris and not gone in New York, Newport Bay. Look how beautiful the hotel is. I always want to call it a castle. It does kind of look like a castle. But now there's people in the bedrooms and uh, having... Um, food in the restaurants and they're setting up here for a show or something at the weekend. I think it's the grand opening of the uh, hotel, which we won't be here for. Right, this is where we've got for the drone show. We're not actually going to stay for the fireworks because we've seen them before and everybody rushes out after the fireworks. So we're just going to watch the drone show here and then head out. The parade returns. <laughs>
absolutely loved that. Very, very. Um, it gives me goosebumps. Nostalgia, bringing it back to the yeah, um, well, electrical parade music. That was the first ever like parade, parade and stuff we saw in Walt Disney World yeah. in the in 2000s. The Main Street Electrical Parade. Yeah, it's and the kind of music that sticks in your head like Small yeah, World does forever. I loved it when that last thing came on and it said in the circle Disney's Electrical Magic Parade. It gave me goosebumps. Absolutely loved that. That's so much better than the fireworks show. Like I said before, Magic Kingdom interrupted the game because the Disney parks have blown it away. I understand the need that people, they don't need to spend all that money in Disney World for people to keep going back, but they do need to update it. It does need drones, it does need projections, uh, not projections, it does need the fountains that they have there. Yeah, but the one good thing about uh, Magic Kingdom, it has got the best fireworks. Yeah. Goodbye Disneyland Park for this Bye. time. Bye. Bye. You've been amazing. Um, it's been amazing, it has. We'll be back in the van. Don't know when these guys are coming back. We'll be back. Well, this vlog's not over yet. We're going to the sports bar now. Yes, we are. Yeah, and then we'll be doing something tomorrow. Yes, back. our travel home day tomorrow. Um, but uh, goodbye to Disneyland Park for now. Bye, Disney. Right, here we are at the sports bar, and um, Tracy Neal's got a uh, table inside. It's the first time we've sat inside. Mickey Pizza. How cute is that? Oh, we've had pizza here before, I can't remember it being a Mickey. It smells amazing. Look at the size of that hot dog. Nice. And I've got some fries and I'm waiting for a tuna salad. Christ, it's like feed the 5,000. Uh, I've opted to not have anything tonight and I'm, I'm kind of regretting it now, even though I'm not hungry in the slightest. Well, I am, but I'm, I've got stomach cramp, so I'm avoiding it. Vicky's got a big sausage. All she, all, always knew she liked a big sausage. Always. <laughs> Lee's just being a vegan again. Not vegan, just got tuna. Oh, is he? All right, okay. What's, what's the um, pescatarian? Tracy, she's a pescatarian. She's got a packet of uh, Findus. Um, Tracy, fish fingers. What's the guy? What's that old Captain 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 Bird's, Captain Bird's, Bird's Eye? She's got Captain Bird's Eye packet on a plate. Neil's got a big sausage as well. Again, always knew we had. Faith's got chicken nuggets, and I've just got a mat. Oh, and I forgot Emma. Sorry, Emma. She's got a Mickey pizza. I bet it tastes nice because it's Mickey. Yeah, everything tastes nice, Mickey shape. It does. You can never go wrong with the sports bar. Such good value and such nice food. 16 so, quid that. That massive tuna salad, uh, a sparkling water, a Diet Coke, and I some fries. Have anything to eat. Some chips, well, you have some magic. Uh, was 16 euros in total. And um, cheap as chips. Yeah, literally. Always good portions, always good food. And um, they do happy hour and all early on in the evening, apparently. Oh, it looks busy getting on the bus. Get on it's just arrived, and there's about Actually, no 300 people. These barriers are all changed. We've managed to get on amazingly, holding on for dear life. And we're back. Should we have this original one and like reminisce? Yeah. It smells lovely in here. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the next day. Lee just got his clothes on, just as I started the camera. Um, it's the next day, we're packed and ready. Well, no, we're not actually. We're starting to pack, but we're not um, in the slightest bit packed or the slightest bit ready. We're gonna head down for breakfast, so we're gonna say good goodbye to you guys, and we'll see you on the next vlog. God, my voice is croaky from screaming on rides. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go down for breakfast on today's travel home day, so check out the next vlog and find out how we get on when we get back to the lodge. And then later on in that vlog, we actually go back down south again to Bath to see our friend Lisa. So if you're not, uh, if you're new to my channel, guys, don't forget to click the subscribe button, click the notification bell to get alerts when we have new videos go out. Click that, um, scan that QR code on the screen now, and we will be back in the next vlog where more drama, I'm sure, will happen. Bye. Bye for now.